apostles. We will go deeper, further. And now the relationship between... Because I found out that Cleopas or Clopas or Alphaeus. Remember Alphaeus? The father of James the Lesser, son of Alphaeus. Alphaeus is the Aramaic name for Cleopas. It's quite interesting. I can tell you the bottom line. This Cleopas, Rotemius, is the brother of St. Joseph. That Cleopas is the brother of St. Joseph. Stay tuned. And I'll give you the biblical references. Okay, let's do the weekly thing we have. Did you go to Mass yesterday? Yes. Really? What time did you go to Mass? <laughs> this is what you need it. You see it? Luke 24, Road to Emmaus. You know the story. Emmaus is an old town seven miles from Jerusalem. The Gospel yesterday. This is the good news last week that we took up. <clears throat> the Gospel today, after multiplying the bread in the fish, remember Jesus fed 5,000? He walked on the sea. The apostles saw him walking on the sea. Big deal for us, no big deal for God. It's, he can do anything. Tuesday, John 6, the bread of wine. You see that this John chapter 6, in the wisdom of the Holy Bible, they're saying multiplication of the bread, just like the bread of life, feeding thousands, right? How many millions are fed every Sunday with the bread of life? So John chapter 6. Remember last week I told you, when you talk about the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, any doubters out there, just ask them to read John chapter 6. Those Protestants do not talk about John 6. I have yet to see or hear one who talks about John chapter 6. They, they, they ignore this chapter. They just don't want to talk about it. Look, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's all one. I am the living bread. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall have life. John 6 is a discourse on the bread, on the, on the bread of life. That's not something they believe in? They think that's just a symbol. But it's overwhelming. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He didn't say, this represents me. This is a symbol of my body. This is my body. If this is my body, quote unquote, it means this is my body. Yeah. It's plain and simple. John, uh, Saturday, John 15, love one another. Jesus never said, fight one another. <laughs> love one another. Well, yeah, fight for the truth. Next Sunday, John 10, I am the gate for the sheep. Who are the sheep? You know the sheep is a dumb animal? Yes? You want to be called dumb animal? Are you willing to be sheep? No. <coughs> the Bible says, compares us to sheep, and Jesus calls himself, I am the sheep gate. The important thing about next Sunday's gospel is this. Key. The next Sunday's Gospel is this. If you want to go to heaven, you have to pass by Jesus. And Jesus says, the thieves and the bad guys try to pass by another gate. 
If you are welcome in a house, which way would you go to the house? The main door, mm -hmm. right? You probably won't pass by a window in the basement. <laughs> if, if you are the type who would force open the window to the basement, probably you are not a welcome guest. Yes? That's what Jesus is saying. You want to be a legitimate entrant to eternal life? Pass by Jesus. I am the sheep gate. I am the only way to the Father. Is that clear? There's no escaping Jesus. He is the only way. Outside of Jesus, there's no way. There's no way. What's his name? Uh, Smith, Joseph Smith. He's not the way. He was killed in a prison. <laughs> he was killed in a prison. He was in prison. How can that be a way? Muhammad, what did he do? He had seven wives. His tomb is occupied. The tomb of Muhammad is occupied. The tomb of Jesus is empty. You know why? Because Jesus is alive. He's not dead. Because our God is God of the living, not of the dead. Understand? The essence of next Sunday is gospel. The whole week is there. Okay? How many minutes is that? <clears throat> now, I have here taste and see the goodness of the Lord. How do you react when in, in, in cases of big time trouble? Big time trouble. Your son or your spouse became alcoholic. Your son, your children, your spouse become or lose their job or become seriously, seriously sick. All those big time troubles in life. How do you react? You lose sleep, yeah, you lose sleep, you become anxious, yes, or your parents become super sick and that you cannot work because you have to take care of your parents, how do you react? the point, but it's not supported in the Bible. That Cleopas was with, it, with a companion, there were two of them walking, that the person, the other person was his wife. There's one or two traditions out there that say that's his wife, but there's nothing else to support it, so I will just mention it in passing. So Cleopas was walking to, towards Emmaus because he's from Emmaus. What's happened here? The story begins, this, I'm, I'm, I'm talking in Luke 24. <clears throat> the story begins that Cleopas and the companion were walking, walking back to, Jew, to uh, Emmaus from Jerusalem. And what were they saying? That's it. No more hope for us. The one whom we thought would be the Messiah has abandoned us. He was crucified. He was killed. He has been buried. That's it. No more. No more Messiah. No more hope for us. Let's just walk back to Emmaus. You follow? That's the story. That's how the story begins. Oh, that's so depressing, isn't it? But some of us do that. We become depressed. We just can't believe we can ever overcome such an obstacle in life. Sounds familiar? There are people who jump off the cliff. They go to Brooklyn Bridge. That's too low. Verrazano Bridge is higher. <laughs> they jump off, kill themselves. Because they become hopeless. This is too big of a trouble. I can't deal with this. I'd rather die. Some people, they become depressed because, because of love. 
your boyfriend marries somebody else all of a sudden, and you can't live without him, so you commit suicide. Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> or, it's the other way around. Your girl, whom you thought would marry you all of a sudden, has another boyfriend. So what do you do? You commit suicide. But where's Jesus? Jesus is the sweet king. What happened? He's the hope. He lived. He's in lives. He's not dead. So okay, you can see the mental condition of those two men walking to Emmaus. Understand? In the next segment, we'll talk about tasting Psalm 34, tasting and seeing the goodness of the Lord. If you came to St. Peter yesterday, I love the song, Open My Eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Right? Open my eyes so I can see. Open my ears so I can hear. Open my heart so I can love. Beautiful, beautiful song. I love the message. I was singing. Were you? Yes. Oh, you were just looking. So, see you in the next segment. Thank <laughs> you.